Hi, I'm Rich Schnipple. And I'm Keith Fishburne. With Intech RV, and we're here to announce a new product that we're unveiling tonight. Something really special. Keith, tell us a little bit about what's going on today. Well, we're excited. We've got something behind us. You see the, the original Luna sitting. And this has been the premium teardrop in the teardrop market. It's got every feature, bell and whistle you can imagine on it, Rich. But what we've done is we've stayed inside that family and we've come out with something new. You wanna show them? Let's do it. Hey, before we go over, I forgot to mention this. We're not gonna answer questions on the Facebook right now. What you'll do is go ahead and type them down and when we get done here, we're gonna go into the office and we'll answer them because we're not able to, to tell you about this and answer questions at the same time. So do that and I'll tell you what, as an added bonus, Five people who ask questions, I'm gonna pick you at random. We're gonna let you guys win an Intech uh, in trailer shirt. So you're really kind of exciting there. That's kind of nice too. And we'll announce the winners of that tomorrow. Let's go take a look, Keith. All right. Well, Rich, here we are. This is the all new Luna Light. Pretty cool. It Pretty is. Cool. <laughs> so this is what we've been doing, working on Luna Light, huh? Absolutely. Overall goal with Luna Light is, as we talked about earlier, the original Luna has every feature imaginable on it. It's a beautiful trailer. We wanted to take that same concept, but put it in a, what we're calling a lighter version. Uh, it has a few less features on it, but you're still getting the same great Luna at a little bit less of a cost. So let me go across here and show you a few of the Show us the changes on the outside. All right, so you're gonna see we went to aluminum fenders from the ABS. We also removed the ABS rear bumper. Also on the side here, you're gonna see we went to a traditional framed uh, window on the side as opposed to the frameless window we were using on the uh, original Luna. Same on the doorway right there. So very minor differences. Here you just see in some areas where we're able to trim some costs and make this thing affordable to fit in some budgets that perhaps the, the original Luna doesn't. I see that these are different graphics. What, what Are we going to have that available in different colors or just one color? We are, Rich. We're going to have two graphic package options. We're going to have, this is going to be uh, Asteroid Silver and then we're going to have Space Blue. So Space Blue is kind of a deep charcoal blue, a real nice look. And I know we haven't seen the inside yet, that's for later, but there's just one choice on interior decor is what you're going to show us, right? Correct. One choice on interior decor. All right. So I might have you flip it around here for me, Rich, if you don't mind. You got it. Hey, we'll show them the front end of this thing. So most people, everybody loves the front of the Luna. It's got that huge windshield, great look, and we did not sacrifice at all on the Luna Light. You're going to notice the same overall full fiberglass front cap here on Luna Light. We stuck with sticking the LP back behind this ABS cover right here, keep it beautiful and concealed. And one thing we couldn't forego is the huge view. This huge windshield on front of this Luna light still gives you that massive view you get out of the original Luna. This is unlike any other type of trailer that's out there in the teardrop market with this large window and the large side windows. But this is that million dollar view when you pull up to a national park or your favorite lake. It just can't be beat, and it really opens up the inside of this unit, doesn't it? Absolutely. In many teardrops or smaller trailers, it feels claustrophobic, and you really can't see what's out around these great areas you've gone to to pay to camp at. Inside this thing, you can see it all. It's, it's a very wide open feel. Another interesting thing up front, this is where the only place you're really going to see that this is an aluminum frame unless you crawl underneath it. So this is an all tube, all aluminum, all cage frame, just like the standard Luna, right? Correct. We weren't willing to go away on the quality. So while we talk about trimming down some features to, you know, put it in maybe a different price range for some people, we did not sacrifice on quality at all. It's still the intact that you would expect to buy on any other of our products. This is awesome. So what do you want to show them next? Well, Rich, let's spin it around again there, if you don't mind for me. I'm going to make you do all the work here today. I'm feeling like Vanna White hey, here. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get too excited about that. Not no. very much. <laughs> but we're going to show them the kitchen now. So, Rich, if you come back across here, I'll even like to pop this open for us. As you look at the back side, I did mention earlier, we did go away from the ABS fender, but you still have that great same sweeping look to the Luna light. So the profile and the lines in this thing is still gorgeous. It is. Go Listen, ahead. I, you sure? Go for it. Have the honors. So for our kitchen, you're going to notice, Rich, we still have a lot of space. We've been best in class in kitchen since we came out with the original Luna. We didn't sacrifice it all here. A few things did change. We went away from the microwave. Now we've given you a lot of prep space with the microwave gone. We did change up the two burner LP stove and sink combo. We had three on the other. We're still giving you a nice deep sink, residential feeling faucet. Um, one thing I kind of like on this one is we went to this net across the top. 
So the net's gonna give you a lot of storage. You can fit some Tupperware in there, things that you're traveling with. Gives you a lot of options. That's really nice. As you come down across it, you're looks still gonna like see speakers and everything as well. Looks like you changed your uh, refrigerator here. We changed up the refrigerator a little bit. We went with the Coleman. Uh, it's a 12 volt refrigerator, very nice Vanna. And it's a 40 quart, so uh, a little more space than our standard 12 volt had been in the past and does a nice job. Looking across the cabinetry here while we're down this way, Rich, we went with more of a European look on the cabinets. Uh, this is the standard cabinet color package you're gonna get in every Luna light, but now we've got full face doors. You still got the same great storage inside here and below the stove as well. That locks in and out of place, doesn't it? Locks in and out of place. That way if you're parked at an angle or anything like that, it's not gonna move around on you. It's a little detail, but you powder coated this now and it's got the name laser etched in there, doesn't it? Keep refining those little things, Rich, and that's the fun part about working on these Lunas, is they really are plush. Very cool. What's next? Well, if you wanna go ahead and we can close this up, Rich, we'll uh, have you swing the unit around again. A lot of headroom under there, too. There is. Compared to most teardrops, we have more headroom, more space, than what you'll typically find. I'm 6'2", and I almost have to duck to get underneath a lot of them. As you do look up over the top, you'll see we maintain a max air vent on top, a slightly different version of it. It's a one speed as opposed to a three speed. And then we have a HD antenna up there. I'm gonna swing around and invite you guys to come in the door right there. Come on over here, camera we'll guy. Here. Kick on the lights for us. All right, there we go. All right, so one thing you'll notice right off the bat, I only set up one mattress just so I could show it to you guys better, but one mattress, or it comes with two mattresses as opposed to the futon mattresses we've been doing in the original Luna. Um, as we look up towards the entertainment section there, you're gonna notice we went to a 32 inch TV in place of the 40 inch. We still have a Jensen DVD, Blu-ray, AM, FM, CD player to go with this setup. So it's all seamless. You put in your DVD right there, pops right up on the TV. Went to some net storage in place of baskets. Went with a 8,000 BTU Pummel Drive AC unit in place of the Cool Cat that we do on the original Luna. And as you come up across it, you'll see we put some curtains in here. It gives it a nice homey feel uh, as, as opposed to the roll shades on the original. Now, looking over this way, I'm gonna slide this mattress out of our way for us. So you see we maintain the nice vinyl flooring finish that we do on the original Luna. We have some great in-floor storage. Didn't sacrifice on any of that. Also, as you look up towards the front cabinetry, you're gonna notice we still have great in-cabinetry in storage. We actually changed the location of how that opens, but it's a nice function. Threw a couple of cup holders up there for convenience. And there you can, of course, see our huge view out that windshield. Now, I'm gonna jump in here just to show you guys. I'm 6'2". And right now I have five to six inches of headroom still above me. You can comfortably fit five adults inside this Luna, just like the original Luna. So as we were talking about earlier, you get more space out of this little teardrop than you do out of any other in the market. Um, right now, Rich, I'm gonna jump out and go back around and we'll, uh, we'll show them some more features on the outside. It is awesome, I'll tell you. You're not gonna find a teardrop trailer with this kind of room inside of it in its comparative size. You shop, you look, you just don't find it. Keith, this is incredible. Yeah, we're very excited about it. Like I said, we felt like there might be people having to buy maybe an, even an inferior product. You know, we're very quality focused at Intech, and we want people to be out there camping with something that's gonna last a lifetime. And so now with the Luna Light, we've got it at a price point where more families can jump into this if the Luna Premium was beyond what they were looking to spend. Do you want to talk about price at all? What's MSRP on one of these ones fully loaded? We are just over 15.5 on an MSRP fully loaded. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck out of the Luna Light. It's incredible. It's a lot. I mean, you've got the same fiberglass sidewalls on Asdale. Yes, we do. You've got the same composite flooring that's found over here in the original Luna, correct? Yep. Like I said, we didn't sacrifice on the construction of this. It's all the same. Even the roof is still a fiberglass roof, just like you'd see on a Class A motorhome. Wow. It's so, awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, we appreciate you joining us tonight, taking a quick look at what we've unveiled. Like I said, we're going to answer any questions that you guys post on Facebook. We're going to do that right after this little uh, event. We're going to also let five lucky winners take an Intech uh, trailer shirt home. We'll announce the winners on that tomorrow. One more thing that I'm going to spill. I know, Keith, you didn't want me to. I'm going to do it. I'll catch heat, I'm sure. 
There's another model of this coming out within the next 30 days, am I right? There it is, you're letting the cat out of the bag a little early there, Rich, but over the next month, we are working on an off-road version. Oh, I didn't say it, you did, now you're in oh, trouble. Oh, jeez, you led me right into it. Yeah, yeah. We're working yeah. on an off-road version of Luna, it will be called Luna Rover. You're gonna see some off-road tires on it, roof rack, it's gonna share a lot of the features from the Luna Light, but uh, yeah, look for that. We'll, we'll probably do another event like this to inter introduce that one to you guys. So the same style frame that you're gonna find in our flyer, it's fully welded cage construction, all aluminum, all tube, built to last a lifetime. If you sell it in 10 years, three years, five years, 20 years, it's worth something, or it's something you can hand down to somebody in your family. This thing's built incredibly well, and now you're gonna be able to take it off-road here in about the next 30 days. But right now, contact your local dealer you mentioned earlier we've got our, our website live right we do we're pretty excited got a new website up today for you guys to take a look at it'll have some information on the Luna light there'll be much more to come we'll beef it up get you guys a lot more pictures and details on it but you can go to www.intechrv.com right now and see this unit on there also when you're on the website you can check out our dealer locator put in your zip code and it'll give you your closest dealers and you can give those guys a call they can fill you in on when their loads are coming and They'll and start receiving details. these when? When will these be on dealer lots? You'll start seeing these show up in dealer lots around July. So you could contact your dealer now and they could be making plans for yours. They can buy it now, right? Absolutely. Awesome. That's incredible. Thanks again, guys, gals. We really appreciate it. Happy camping. Thanks for being a fan. Thanks for being an Intech RV owner. We appreciate your business more than you'll ever know. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a great day.